93.1 WHPR, Highland Park. Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey with host Will, co-host the water cooler guru <laughs> and the free agent. FM 88.1 WHPR, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688. Live every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Live streaming at FM 88.1 WHPR.com. Past shows at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No and professionals bye. here. And you're hot. All right, welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey. I'm your host, Will, sitting up in here with the free agent in D.C., December the 1st, 2013. What's going on, fellas? What's, up, what's good, up? Detroit? All right, we got a lot to get off into. You, you know what today, today? A lot of college football. Starts? A lot of college. You know, you know what today means? What? Four weeks left of football. Oh, I thought it was the money on them ABT cards. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we got a month left, man. Yeah. Before playoffs. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, it's getting down to the nitty and the gritty. Uh, we talk about the uh, BCS, SEC, the Big Ten. It was a lot of good college football games oh, yesterday. I'm yeah. sorry. It was I'm, I mean, I'm yeah. disappointed, but it was a lot. A lot what, you, of good. what you disappointed for? Yeah, we'll talk about that when we come back. What we're going to do, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Um, come back, we're going to talk about college football, Lions, and unfortunately, D-Rose go down, goes down again. He out. Yep. So let's take a quick commercial break. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800 285 5941. Or www.consumerhealthresources.com Hey, I know you're on Facebook more than a little bit, right? Imagine if you had a cutting-edge app that allows you to see your top buddies, friends' rankings in your league table, or how about having the ability to see friends you haven't spoke to in a while that you need to reconnect with. Allow me to introduce you to Social Bonds. This amazing app gives you the power to analyze your popularity with males and females on your friends list. Now, you know you can't go wrong with that, right? Our iPhone and Android-friendly app will provide for you the fun facts you desire to make the best out of your experience on Facebook. So what the heck are you waiting for? Get connected with Social Bonds today. Our app is available at your iTunes and Google Store right now. For more information, www.appshay.com. Amazon.com. 
Football went down again. Well, you know they was gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they ain't no Johnny I'm football. Gonna say, you know they you want Johnny lose. football wearing that 49er? What is it, what they crimson and gold? Actually, you know what? Let me. I'm gonna have to change that. I'm gonna have to go with uh, my boy at Florida State. I'd rather have. Oh, what? Huh? What? Talking about, you want, talking, you want James Winston? Oh, yeah. now you now you want the Cam Newton look alike. I thought you wanted Johnny Football. Yeah, Johnny he was. Football, you, <laughs> last week you wasn't even you was screaming Johnny Football. Now you want James Winston? Johnny Football is a bum. <clears throat> you don't want your boy AJ McCarron? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't nope. want that that the Alabama you don't quarterback. Want the Alabama quarterback? Nope. Why not? Nope. 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 Man, you change your tune <laughs> every week. Well, it's not that I changed my tune. They changed their game. Well, no, Jameis Winston, I've been talking about him for the past you know. month. And y'all been shooting me down because you kept seeing this. The, you, you kept being blinded by Nick Saban's arrogance. <laughs> I which, knew, I knew we James showed Winston up was yesterday. a good player. I knew he was. We showed up yesterday in that 57-yard field goal that they missed. Yeah, I don't know why he made that call for real. I don't See, they couldn't they could make a field goal to save their life yesterday. They couldn't make not one field goal. Uh, I'm confused, man. Why I'm he, not confused. He even went. To, let me ask you a question about that game, too. Okay, now, um, he went for it. Kicker wasn't making nothing. So, he, you know, he rolled him out. You know, of course, we all know the outcome. Yeah. Yeah, they lost. They lost. Hold on one second. Let me take this call. I'm going to ask you that question. Detroit Sports Jersey, name it where you call it from. This is the guru. I knew you was going to call You say what? You say what? Speak up. I am disturbed, and I am suicidal right about now. Why are you suicidal? And why'd you hang up on me? There's a couple things here. First of all, I'm not listening to 97.1. And they're defending this two point uh, 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 call. Why you keep oh, hanging, hanging up, up on him? Why you keep hanging up on him? My sorry, my fault, Guru. Call back in. Don't you, my don't bad. You, do you just. I don't know, man. I'm up here trying to learn this new system, and, and it ain't keep, working. Keep yet. hitting buttons. <laughs> we, had gu- we had the Guru on the line. That's all right. He'll call Hitt- back. Hitting buttons. He'll call back. But anyway, let me get back to this question I was saying, right? Now you're back to the question. Now you're back to the question. Yeah, about uh, Lou, I mean, um, not Lou Holtz. How do I say Lou Holtz? Well, Brady Holtz uh, went okay. for the uh, win, the victory. I, I agree with it. I don't. Uh, go people for are I coming don't. down on I him. Don't. Why? People are coming down on him. Well, look like somebody calling in. Sorry about that, Guru. Is that you? Yeah, yeah. I, but let, let, let me finish. Just make it, make it quick since you're trying to hang up on me. <laughs> <laughs>
is much greater than your chances of making a two-point conversion. So why don't you give yourself the better chance to win? Well, well that's why I disagree. On one play. That's where I disagree. Oh, wait, wait, wait. let me finish this too. Because to show you how you idiot Michigan and Detroit Lions fan, and Tiger fans think and the organization follow their fans, you're both of y'all are idiots. <laughs> it's, um, I mean, I, what, what I'm saying is this. How can you say that you want to go for two and the odds on making a two is opposite? How many two point conversions Michigan made all year this year? It don't matter. <laughs> Cause you want me to tell you why? You want me to tell you why? Did you, did you see the game yesterday? I didn't have to. Okay. Did you see how Ohio State was running the ball on us yesterday? Okay. Yeah. Did you Did you hear that? I put it like this. Did you see the stats on how they was running the ball on us yesterday? If we would have okay. went to overtime, don't hit that man. You might hang up again. <laughs> hey, but check don't, this don't hit out. Nothing, man. Check this out, dog. <laughs> I have to agree. I mean, disagree with you, Guru. You got two players that was averaging over eight yards a carry, G, by the so quarterback if, and the running back, and so it was you, ugly. If you if you giving up almost four hundred yards rushing, just rushing, they, Ohio State. I don't even think they passed the ball yesterday. They just ran the they ball ran down the our throats. Yesterday. They ran the ball down our throats. So if you got the, if you got the chance to win it with one play, I'm, I'm confused. With, with, with thirty two seconds left in the game, hey. with all what you're saying is true. I agree. Hey, one, hey, 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 if you got the chance to win the game when you already but if you got you the chance already to the underdogs, to go the overtime, you was already underdogs. We already underdogs. We ain't playing this this Ohio State, Michigan. Right. We not playing for overtime. Why it's, not? Why should we? We want to beat them. We don't we don't play for OT. If we got a chance to win the game with one play, go for the win. This is Michigan, Ohio State. We don't play for OT. You said one play. One play. We ain't playing for OT. You said one. No, no, no. I'm, I'm sticking to your comment of one chance. Now, check it out. That one chance, you want to take the greatest chance. And that was the greatest chance. We went for the win. The greatest chance to win was to go for two points. We went for the win. Hey, our season. Hey. Yep, we go on, we 50%, 50% instead of getting ran the ball down our throat and OT again. We got a chance to win the game, our offense against their defense. Just like you were saying, they wasn't stopping us all game. We taking our chance right here. But instead, we taking of, our but instead of you throwing wow, the ball, we, you should have ran the ball if you're going to go for we, two. We can't run the ball. We couldn't, we, we wasn't running the ball all game. We was throwing it on Ohio State. I can't believe that you wouldn't have took the game to OT. Nope, don't take it to OT. I like that call. That was Fams, the, the best call he did. You the game to OT. Now, now, you now said what? Fams, are you telling me that you wouldn't have took the game to OT? You would have went for two. I would have. I'll put it to you. Let me put it to you like this. Let me put it to you like this. When he made that call and they came out there, I was really shocked. But I took my hat off to him for really going for it and going for dog. They had, I'll be honest with you. Michigan has nothing to play for. They don't. No, nah, they don't. They don't have nothing. Wasn't nothing on the line for Michigan but the reputation. That was it. There wasn't no bowl games. Wasn't no big. They going see, to a bowl game. I'm, it wasn't nothing major. No major bowl on the record. Yeah, you know, you, I feel right now. You done been around these lions and tigers. <laughs> it ain't got nothing. <laughs> hey man, leave my lions alone. Me and Guru. I mean, me and the free agent done bonded. You try to separate. We did not bond. Nothing. Let me break them to you like this. 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 There's still certain things you do in games that you're supposed to do. you always supposed to play and put your team in the best position to win. Going for two was not putting your team in the best position to win. Okay, well, let me ask you this, Guru. Hey, Guru. You're talking like idiots. Hey, Guru. Hey, Guru. Listen, hold on. If you wanted to go for two, you know what he should have done? He should have locked up because, Sam, you said something important. You said it shocked you when it came out there and go for two. Think how many people shocked the line instead of being lined up to kick it and went for two. They probably would have made it then. But do you know something? Let me tell you. Do you know something else about that play? Element of surprise. Okay, can you quit screaming and hollering? Do you know one thing? Important thing about that play? What? Brady Hope didn't make that call. The seniors made that call. That's why he called that timeout. Had that huddle. He asked them, "Did they want to go for it?" All the seniors said, "Yeah." Actually, uh, Ohio State called the timeout. Who else called the timeout? 
But look, <laughs> but look, let me, let me explain <laughs> something to y'all. Let me speak a minute. So when you, when you walk in with your grandbaby this summer, and your grandbaby say, uh, granddaddy, can I run out in front of Grand River? And you're going to say, okay, granddaddy. I'm going to say, hell yeah, go ahead. Just make sure granddad don't get hit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 guru. Hey, guru. <laughs> that is what you got to Hey, Guru, a ask yourself you this. You letting the Grand River, you letting the granddaddy run out there. I'm you sorry, yeah. Man, <laughs> on your road, young grandpa. Nah, nah, nah. First of all, there's nothing that's on the line for guru, Michigan, man. You mentioned the most important thing. Hey, 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 Guru, ask yourself this. You got a 7-4 and four team. This is before they lost. They 7-4 and four against an undefeated team. You got one play to beat them. You going to OT and you got the ball? You mean to tell me you going to go to OT? You ain't really playing for nothing. I'm going for. I'm going. You to going OT. for OT? I'm going to OT. Yeah, we see. We see where you. We see where you sit. This is your losing. Losing. We going for. Wait, wait. You play to win games, right? You play to win the game, see, right? See, he'll be a scared coach. That's Guru, what I'm saying. He'll be a scared he, coach. You play to win the he'll game, right? He, he don't want to take yeah, no I'm chances. Saying, this is my last. This is the last thing I'm saying. Dog, with nothing on the line. What's what, the, what, right? What, what you what you playing for OT for? Why you going? Why you trying to prolong a game? He wanted this. The only thing Brady Hope wanted to do with them seniors was send them out on top, winning against Ohio State. That Other was that, it. That, it that was, was that was nothing, nothing else on the line. Nothing. 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 So why not go for it? Oh my God. So you mean to tell me you at hold on? Let ask you ask yourself this too. You at home. You you down one point. It's either go for two or, or go to OT and lose. How you know they was gonna lose? Because they was gonna lose. How you know they was gonna lose? You wanna know how? How? Because they Braxton Miller and that other guy who was running uh, down our He was doing the same thing. And that, we was throwing the ball. It's a difference when you can run the ball and get eight yards a carry. It's different. You can stop a pass play way better than you can stop a run play if somebody already. Yeah, especially when you got two players exactly. averaging over eight Both yards. Both of them averaging. That's basically when You got the running back and right. the quarterback yeah. averaging yeah. over yeah. eight yeah. yards. G, but I'm going for the win. These guys making all kind of runs. It's easier to stop the run than it is to pass. You got two players doing eight yards a carry. Obviously, it's not. Hey, hold on, hold on. You did you see Devin Gardner? It ain't like yeah. he. It, it ain't like Michigan got the best offensive line in the world. Exactly. He gets sacked every every other play. Okay, no, no, no. He, okay, okay, let me get this right. Michigan got sacked every other play. They were struggling like I don't know what. There they were was struggling. Two seconds left in the game. The score was forty-two to forty-one. You're right, and I'm we went for the win. Right. I'm not getting this right. We went for the win. That was, that was hold on. I was still averaging eight yards to carry on the run, but still with thirty-two seconds left in the game, the score was forty-two forty-one. You right. I am confused. Okay. I'm not. Okay, well, I got to go to a commercial while you confused. You want to be put on hold and you want to continue this Hey, this is the same guy. This is the same guy that was screaming Oregon at no, the beginning not, of the year. No, no, no. This is the same make, guy that was screaming Oregon know, at the beginning Now, if you want to know a coach. Wait a minute. I'm not, saying, not, you screaming Oregon at the beginning of the Now, that was the bonehead coach of yesterday was Nick Saban. Oh, I got four national titles, though. Don't call it. You can't. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Shut up. Oh, First of all, your kicker is missing everything 10 yards or less. And you going to put it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your kicker is missing. Why I can't talk? Why I can't talk? Hey, Guru. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Let me finish this. Your kicker is missing. Your kicker. Take it to the top of the hour. I'm through. Go ahead. Hey, Guru. Hey, Guru. I'm through. So, Guru, ask yourself this. You go for a 57-yard kick, uh, a 50-yard seven field goal, or you play for overtime. You got way more on the line than what Michigan had. So when you play for overtime in that? Uh, okay, let me explain them to you. But your kick rate, wait, hold on, why is your kick rate, man? Wait, the line is the whole game. But now it's different when you got national championship on the line. Yeah, but hold it. What y'all missing? What is the odds of him running back a kick? I mean, a, a short field goal for a touchdown. One in a million. It's almost like winning a lottery, G. It don't matter. It happened, though. You want to go on ifs. It happened. It happened. Hey, Actually, you know what? It happened. happened. I don't want to go on hey, no what ifs. It happened. Actually, you know what? You know what I'm, you know what I'm going to say to this? Mm. I'd rather would have played for overtime in the Nick Saban game. Than I exactly. would in the Michigan game. Because exactly. Michigan, they only had two exactly. yards to get. Michigan had two you, yards to you get. Got you got guts when you're a loser, and then you reap when you're a winner. Okay, I got it. You, you okay. Well, All so, right. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Guru. Hey, Guru. So, so you telling me Nick Saban didn't get out coached that game? 
Did he get out coach? He just made a bonehead decision. He got out coach. He got out coach. Okay, okay, let me tell you this. Buddy, you know, not only was it a stupid decision, but he made. Then he compounded with a stupid play call because that was stupid. It was stupid, yeah. But I'd have had Devin Gardner but him going to try to take it in himself. But hold on, but. What did you expect me to do? Make the two-point conversion? Yeah. Yeah. No. If you had a shot, hold on, that Michigan Ohio State game, if you had a shot to win that game, you should have ran the ball instead of passing. Now, Michigan can't run the ball. Let me go. Still, you are on the four-yard line. line. I don't if think you, you If you have a shot to win the game, you should have you ran the ball with Devin Garner instead of passing. All right, well, all right, we appreciate you calling in. I got to run these commercials. <laughs> All right, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What? Yeah. Did you jump the end bomb? <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Uh, you that man, and we got to be the ends. <laughs> Did he? Guru, you still there? I think he hung he up. Hung up. He mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What we gonna do? Go to a commercial break now that the Guru is mad. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. We'll pick this up. We'll talk about the uh, uh, Lions going one and one for the week. Uh, we'll come back after a word from our sponsor and jump off in all type of stuff. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. Hey, I know you're on Facebook more than a little bit, right? Imagine if you had a cutting-edge app that allows you to see your top buddies, friends rankings in your league table, or how about having the ability to see friends you haven't spoke to in a while that you need to reconnect with. Allow me to introduce you to Social Bonds. This amazing app gives you the power to analyze your popularity with males and females on your friends list. Now, you know you can't go wrong with that, right? Our iPhone and Android-friendly app will provide for you the fun facts you desire to make the best out of your experience on Facebook. So what the heck are you waiting for? Get connected with Social Bonds today. Our app is available at your iTunes and Google Store right now. For more information, www.appshay.com. Sponsors are uh, disappointed in their ass. We will be rerunning them next Saturday when the voice returns to the studios. So anyway, let's jump off into the Lions, fellas. We, you know, we ain't gonna agree on this college football, obviously, <laughs> because Guru thinks that uh, since Michigan was seven and four, they had a yeah, lot they on had, the line. They had a lot on the line. <laughs> right, and seven and four. But anyway, yeah, what, we, what we playing for the Motor City Bowl? Let's back it up to last Sunday where the Lions, our Lions, me, no, you, no, not our, we not lost our. to Tampa Bay. I was hurt. I wasn't. I, I was. Because you, you want me to tell you why? why? They should have won. You why? After seeing them play Thursday, that that told me everything about Sunday. They should have won. No, no, no. You want me to tell you what it told? What it tell you? It told it told me that we overlooked Tampa Bay. Well, you shouldn't have. Because but Tampa we Bay, did. Tampa Bay we gave did. you the game. 
You're right. They did, but we, <laughs> but we overlooked them. Tampa Bay gave you the game. But you you told me the you Calvin the was game. gone. Dog, Reeves. Reeves set out after the first quarter. This is all the hey. things you told me. Hey, he should have. You know, he should He was dogging you know, him until he went out. You know, Matthew, he sat twice, four interceptions. Okay, yeah. Lions had, a big had game. five had a big turnovers, game. two right. in the fourth quarter. Tampa Bay started the season 0 and 8. There's no reason y'all shouldn't have won that game. Once again, it goes back to that statement: the same old Lions. But what we do Thursday? You don't know. matter. You but I would get. Oh, wait, but now it don't matter. You, you should be two and zero. You should but be two and zero going into uh, uh, Lions. We did dominate that game except for two um, Lions, turn, and that was the turnovers. turnovers and the final score. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bush wanted a team meeting. Stafford called it off. What's your thoughts? You know agent? what? You know what? One thing about Bush, what what, what got me was when he when he made that uh, comment during the week that he won't fumble. Yeah, he he fumble, fumble, fumble. He fumble. <laughs> I'm like, well, how you gonna make a uh, comment? Okay. Detroit Sports Jersey, name and where you calling from? What's up, Mr. Longhorn? Calling all the way from Texas. What's up, Mr. Longhorn? Man, y'all sound like y'all are Harvey. Y'all, y'all like to buy our pizza. The temptations going on up there. <laughs> <laughs> and Longhorn, speak, speaking about you being in Texas, what, what about your Longhorns out there? Them boys, they rolling. Yeah, you know, they must have took a page out of the line. Nah, <laughs> nah they ain't taking a page out of the line. Now, let me, ask you, let me ask you a question, Longhorn. He's down there in Texas. According to, you know, my sources, which is the Longhorn. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they got it set up for Nick Saban to come to Texas. Everything's ready for him. Is that true or false? That's true, brother. That's true. He's coming down here. It's a Longhorn bill. Hey, 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 Longhorn, you want me to tell you why? I can give you one reason why he will not come to Texas next year or any other year. The Lions trying to pick him up? No. <laughs> no. You, you want me to tell you what? You want me to tell you? Yeah, he's got a mini dynasty right now in Alabama. He is not leaving where he's at. All the kids are going to go to Alabama, not Texas. I don't know about that mini dynasty, according to last night's game with that 100, what, 109. I mean, hey, hey, they lost last night, but that, that, that still won't change the fact that they're going to be the favorite next year. And most likely the favorite after that, the year after that. So, I mean. You know what I like about the free agent? What? You always thought it next year. I'm just saying, <laughs> hey, it's ne hey, next year, hey, that's what he's thinking about right now because he can't go for that national championship. I'm just saying that next year, Nick Saban and the, and the Alabama Tide, they're going to be back. With number 29, Miss Santaco, that's the first thing he thought about was the bid for next year. <laughs> <laughs> that's all good, but that was a good game. I know y'all boys saw that last night. Hey. I'll tell you what, I'm glad they put no money on that game because I was. Hey, man, I thought that I had that stuff now for real. And hey, you see your Cowboys? Where we running from? Man, that ain't my Cowboys, man. I don't think it's Cowboys. How you don't like the Cowboys, Longhorn? Come on, Longhorn. Them your Cowboys. They play good on Thanksgiving, man. All right, love you. What's up, brother? Hey, y'all. Don't get all right around with Spurs and on the Cowboys and right around the Brooklyn Broncos, man. It's back my team. 49ers is my team. Yeah, but we know we know secretly you're a Cowboys fan. <laughs> we know. We well, know. I'll tell you what, I tell you two about the 49ers. They scared me this year, though. I'm not impressed. Not oh, your 49ers in trouble. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm you know, we got Crabtree back now, so we're going to see what happens with that. He's back. He's playing today. We back in full force now, baby boy. We back in full force. The team is back. I lured you in with a false sense of security telling you I wasn't no fan. I lied. Wait, hold on. Wait, I wait, lied. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You did not fool me. You're right. <laughs> you did not fool me. Oh yeah, you did. With this, with this nonsense, you keep, you keep saying. Did you actually thought I was gonna be a lying fan? Did you really believe that? Uh, no. <laughs> you, you believe? No, that? I didn't. He had comments did. like, yeah. Well, well, I just saw you on y'all live too. You put your hand on his shoulder, talking about your lying. So what's up with that? I was luring him in with a false sense <laughs> you of security. Learn, you wasn't luring nobody. You wasn't luring nobody. I was, luring 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 nobody. I was, I was like the little, little man on the street with the candy. Come in, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> you look greedy. Come in. <laughs> and what place y'all in y'all division? 
Uh, we in uh, second, seven and four. It don't matter. You know if you lose a day in Arizona. I had us going these 11 and five, so I got room. We ain't losing that St. Louis, man. Please get out of here. We I, at home. Crab tree back. Case closed. That's why y'all going to lose. It's crab well, tree back down at home. And they at home. St. Louis been playing good these last few weeks. I like the way St. Louis been rolling. Yes, I picked St. Louis. Don't look at don't look I'm over there. I'm looking at it. I'm look at it. I pick, pick St. How Louis. How you pick St. Louis? Easy, because the 49ers some bums. That's why. Can I say one thing though? I had me a good week. You ain't had no good sports. week. <laughs> uh, you about to have a bad week when they when the 49ers watch, lose. I got to watch Wiggins at Kansas play. I was impressed by Braxton Miller at Ohio State. You know, it's it's one good it's LSU. one guy. I mean, it's, good it's one guy in college basketball that that's impressed me, and it ain't Wiggins. It was Marcus Smart from Oklahoma State. Hey, and I'm glad you said it. He, you know, the, he the only one. And him, know, him and Jabari Parker. And I'm going to steal a page out of Barkley's book. And, and I really like to say what Barkley said about this kid, too. Because they asked him why he didn't turn pro. Because he know, wanted to work on his game. And you know what his answer was? What? He wanted to work on his game. I can't shoot. And he went back and he went back he and he's game. impressed. And he can shoot now. He's, the, he's impressed me. You know, who's, you know who the new Kwame Brown is? Who? He's playing in Cleveland. <laughs> he's playing in That's Cleveland. Not. Come on, you can come on, agree with me. Come on. I can't come agree on, with that. Come on, dog. I can't agree with that. Dog, he, it was like five or ten games in the season before he got his first point. That don't make him Kwame right. Brown. Whatever. This is the sorriest season the NBA ever, NBA ever has starting off. I don't think so. You Jason had... Kidd out there telling his player, hit me, hit me. He trying to win the game. He trying to win the game. For $50,000, yep. they could have that game. He's in the <laughs> cellar. He's 40 and you, you ain't even looking at the, the positives that the Portland, it's early in the season. Portland Trail Blazers got off to a good start. Okay. The Phoenix Suns got off to a good start. You just looking at the, the, the so called supposed to be good teams. No, 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 no. Oklahoma City is, is is they they playing hot. The Spurs is hot. The Rockets is finally looking right. What you think about the um And you saying it's a bad season? What you think about dog, no, look at this. Let's just do the okay, just, wait, wait, just cause just cause New York in, in Brooklyn are down, the, the rest of the league ain't playing, huh? What, what, That's no, how you feel? No, That's how you feel? No, no, no. Well, was I mistaken? But, but did they hype these teams up before the season I mean, they could have hyped up. these teams yeah, up, but still. Did, did, yeah, well, I'm but mistaken. They, they could have hyped they these teams hype up. All the teams up well, there before the season started. Just, talking, about, talking about, um, Brooklyn is a threat to Miami because Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce rolling in there in wheelchairs at 40. <laughs> they thinking they're going to beat them. Come on, um, Longhorn. Give me your thoughts. I'm doing all the way after the Pistons. Man. Next, next up, Jay, we ain't even going to talk about the Pistons. It's early for the Pistons. Hey, look, you know, it's still early for the Pistons. At, it's 6 and 10. Know, it's not early. Go ahead. Oh, oh, wait. But you got New York and, and Brooklyn below them. So 6 and 10 is looking mighty fine right now. What you I say? I think both of them are going to be there. I say the Heat, the heat is going to be, uh, they're going to get the championship again, man. I don't care where Garnett and them go. Like, Oh, That's where I got to disagree, man. man. Let me ask y'all a question. That's where I got to disagree. Hey, check this out. The best record, of course, was the Bulls, 72-10. and 10. Right. Yep. yep. I'm going I'm to say this and put this out there on the limb. I think Indiana's going to get that. And if they get that, you do you know. I that, think Indiana's that, you, really going to break that they, record. If they get that, they win it at all. You don't no, know. They 15 and 1. I don't see them really. Th- man, they got a team. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. I remember, I, 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 oh, wait, hold on. I remember him last week when I said, he was like, who did Indiana get? I said, the guys they got made them a better team. You said, man, they ain't get nobody, but not no, nah, nah's looking like that. Well, man, you change your tune every week. <laughs> every week. Well, what you have to understand? No, I don't Fred, want to you understand have a busy nothing. Schedule during the oh, week. So no, when I can no, sit no, down no, and sleep, no, no. watch the games and relax and watch, I can see things much differently oh, than oh, I can, can on the internet, you know. Paul George, hey, paper. Paul George, he's looking like the MVP right now. You know, man, I will not go that far. They, his no, team 15 and 1. What'd you say, the main reason. What'd you say, Longhorn? It's still a LeBron game era, man. Exactly. He, you said what? LeBron. LeBron James era. It's still his era, bro. I'm not saying it's, hey, hold on. I'm not saying it's not LeBron James era. I'm just saying Paul George looked like the MVP let right me, now. Let me ask y'all another question about the NBA. Starting with you, Longhorn. Yo. Kobe just re up. Forty-eight million to you. I told everybody he wasn't going nowhere after this year. I told everybody he was gonna sign between fifty and sixty million dollars for at least three years, but he signed for two. I, he ain't stupid, and I know he ain't doing this for money. But do you think that the Lakers overpaid for? Because now they can't. 
You no. know everybody want that. He want that six ring. No, he ain't no. They ain't nah, no. He, he, he's left them with enough, not enough money to sign nobody else. Well, he took all the money on the table. No, he didn't. Cause, cause then you got, you got, Power saw a contract coming off. Nas contract coming off. Oh man, you, you Nash. basically. And then you got a bunch of role players that they got on that team. It won't be coming off this year. Nas, yeah, it, no, 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 it's not. No, no, it's not. Nas had a three-year deal. He's done. I'm telling you, no, he's not. Nas had a three-year deal. He's done. He's done out there. Nash is staying. Nash is gone. Nash is gone. Gasol is gone. What you think, Longhorn? The only, the only guy that they got really signed through any other year is Kobe. They can build a whole new team. So what do you think? Do I think the Lakers gonna do something? I'm not saying that, but that's what this guy over here is saying. I tell you what, Nash is old man. I mean, this is last year anyway, so he won't be a Laker next year. Nah, he, uh, you know, they need to get, they need to get with their recruiting programs, man. Some of those old cats they moving around. Trading out, trying to think they going to build a dynasty. All those cats, man, they got one foot in the retirement last. I don't even know why they keep picking up those gold cats, man. Mm. All right. But I, know, I know free agent, you know, they, you know, he's a leader of the world citizens, uh, senior citizens in basketball campaign. <laughs> so, and, and we went to the finals last year, too, with them senior citizens. Remember that. But did they win the championship? No. All right, no, then, no, we didn't win. We didn't win. We should have won. It shouldn't even have went but, to a but, game seven. But we but, didn't. But we didn't win. <laughs> you right. All right, y'all. I let y'all go, brother. I get back to watch y'all on live. What's up there, y'all? Uh, what's that other guy, man? <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah, what's the other host name up there? DC. Oh? DC? DC? Yeah. DC, hey, what's up, DC? What's up, you all right? Well, I'm going to call you Detroit for a minute, bro. <laughs> all right, um, all right, all right I'm long on. We appreciate you calling in. That's right, that's right. Hey, and go 49ers. We still on track for the 12 and 4, that's what I said. They, they already got five losses. <laughs> Oh, my bad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. We appreciate you calling in, Longhorn. <laughs> all right, all right, later. <laughs> you got me. You got me. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's have him go to a commercial break. When we come back, uh, we'll uh, jump off into the Lions, what they did this Thursday. And uh, what let me see. We'll talk about D Rose going down again. I feel, I feel bad for my I do, too. Yeah, he, I really do. Do you know what his stats are? I won't say he done. You know what his stats don't went from? What? You know how he, he said the day to day? Yeah. His don't went from year to year. <laughs> That's it, what, yeah. I got it very important. I'm glad I brought that up. Because he's trying I'm to I'm glad y'all are po- important for him to come back. back. Yeah, I, I do, man. I feel sorry for him. You know, I really do. Let's take this quick commercial break. We'll jump off into that. Our picks, how we did last week. Uh, Lions, what they did this past Thursday. Hey, but the one I seen some things that, that I like. With hey, the, but the one positive what? about that, it wasn't the same knee. Yeah, that, but G Money, you only got two knees. You got two knees. Hey, I'm yeah. just saying, it wasn't the same yeah, again, two knees. Knee. It wasn't the same one. All right, let's take this quick commercial break. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. Grab that mic. Hey, I know you're on Facebook more than a little bit, right? Imagine if you had a cutting-edge app that allows you to see your top buddies, friends' rankings in your league table, or how about having the ability to see friends you haven't spoke to in a while that you need to reconnect Mm -hmm. with. Allow me to introduce you to Social Bond. This amazing app gives you the power to analyze your popularity with males and females on your friends list. Now, you know you can't go wrong with that, right? Our iPhone and Android-friendly app will provide for you the fun facts you desire to make the best out of your experience on Facebook. So what the heck are you waiting for? Get connected with Social Bonds today. Our app is available at your iTunes and Google Store right now. For more information, www.appshay.com. 
the handicapping tools to predict the outcome of sporting events and provides free daily picks and instantly delivered premium picks. The LOCKS 2013 Major League Baseball season record was 144 wins, 76 losses, and two pushes resulting in over 94 units won. Dive veterans are now enjoying profits. Take the LOCKS.com and profit this winter with NBA, NHL, and college football action. For more information, take the LOCKS.com. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by the book Cyberpunk Dow. The book Cyberpunk Dow is available on Amazon and is written by Detroit native Matthew Kowalski. Here is a sample of the book. Dow of the Cyberpunk shifts into high gear with my stylish black mirror shades, the light absorbing into my clothing making me fully black. This is the price I pay for being a runner in the night, a midnight runner pushing the tech to run. Kids is the ones that never leave their house but are just begging for coins to pass the river. Again, the book is Cyberpunk Now by Matthew Kowalski. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by the book Rebranding Yourself After Age 50. Rebranding Yourself After Age 50 is a playful yet powerful workbook on how to job seek and reinvent oneself at midlife. As inspiring as it is thought provoking, author Marva Goldsmith challenges readers that it is never too late to create the life you want. If you have been tasked with the challenge of starting over, this professional guide shows you how to define your target market and distinguish yourself in the marketplace. There is a strategy to reinvention. It's time to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get back in action. For more info, look at branding50.com, B-R-A-N-D-I-N-G, by zero.com, or Amazon.com. You're listening to Detroit Sports Review Live at WHPR, 88.1 FM. All right, we back, I guess. I don't know, man. <laughs> Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey, DetroitSportsJersey.com. I don't know. All right, we had a game here Thursday. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving, man. Right, I was feeling good about my holiday until now. <laughs> but check this out, though. Your boy, Green Bay. Josh Sitton called the Lions defense scumbags and dirt bags. Yep. After giving yep. up, wait, let me let me finish you this real quick stats. Oh, stats. Real fast. Well, we need stats. We know Here, we ain't gonna run that again. Yeah, we ain't hey, gonna nah. run that again. Nah. He, he too busy getting text messages <laughs> about his furniture sitting on the curb or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 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 the Packers offensive line allows seven sacks. Now he remind you this guy's the center. This we is dirt the center. Bags. This dirt is bags. the center. Against the dirt bags. The dirt bags. The offensive uh gained a total of hundred and um twenty six yards. Matt Flynn, who stole money after he looked like <laughs> Joe Montana two years ago, he was ten for twenty, hundred and thirty nine yards interception, two Fumble losses. Eddie Lacy, 16 yards, 10 carry. Longest well, we knew yard. he wasn't going to do Longest right. yard the Packers ran was uh, 20. Four yards. That was the longest yard they I think ran. The longest pass play was 53. You know. Now, the, 53 the positive, yards. that's the positive. You know, defense, that's the, you know, I, that was a good game. They dominated them boys. Hey, did you see when Sue got that sack for yeah, safety? Yeah. He looked like he went to. He looked like he went to. He looked like I bet not. He like, let me lay him down gently, because I really want to kill him. He like he wanted to. He wanted to throw him down. No, he he called himself though. Yeah, he did. He did, man. He was going. Oh, he was about to do it. He me, Jake man. He said, no, I done been through this before. Hey, Sue, Sue ain't been. He ain't been living up to his dirt bag name this year. I still, I don't really see he ain't been playing. none of the players living up to that. I mean, was has there been some costly penalties? Oh yeah, late of course, hits? of course. Yeah, you know what I'm that's, saying. That's, that's no, not this year. You know? That's it. No, 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 it's been it's been some late yeah, hits. Yes, and stuff it has. Like it. But I'm talking about far as the big players like suit and kick, kick somebody. somebody. Oh, and, nah, yeah. nah, stuff like that. No, we ain't been really. Nah, been on the radar. here's the bad part with the lines, which they have to correct: the turnovers. 17 turnovers yeah, in the turnovers. last 19 you ain't even quarters. You ain't even have to tell me that. Right. That ain't going to win you no playoff game. No. no. Unless we play Green Bay. Gee, you're not even going to play <laughs> Green Bay. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to come back. 
Hey, you he, think it would have been you know a what? Hey, you know what? I don't even think that would have saved him. That's what I was about to ask. I don't even think that would have saved him. Because the no way the, I don't think so. Yeah, I think the way they was playing, they was because the way just too the way we just the way we just yeah, that, that was, the way that was, the way our defensive line just went. They, they offensive man, Green Bay Packers offensive line was like a high school team. That that whole offensive unit just yeah, I, I think that center like he like he lit a fire up under the Lions. He did. He, that he said the wrong thing. Yeah. So yeah. See, that goes to show you. And the one thing I do like, they didn't. You know, they didn't fall for the bait, the Lions. You know, like Jim Schwartz said, the game is played on the field, mm -hmm. not in the media, not in words. It's played on the field. And obviously, he felt that a buck kicking was coming, so he tried to bait them in. They didn't fall for it, and that's exactly what they got. They got whooped. Yeah. You Green Bay got whooped. And then you want to know what else? Out. Flat out. You know Flat what else out. I like what the Lions did? What's that? They ran the ball extremely well against Green Bay. They had like 200 and something rushing yards. Yeah. Now. They crushed them. Now. Should have uh, did that all season. I mean, hey, we doing it right now. That's Good. all that matters. I didn't know they had they had one on Thanksgiving Day in um, over 10 years. I yeah, thought that was their Super Bowl. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Well, last that. year we went to OT, but we lost that one. Yeah, to uh, the Texans. To, to the Texans. Yeah, 34-31. Yeah, but. Uh, Kind of shocked about that. But let's check this out. We're running uh, on these commercials. We're going to run one more commercial. Come back. We're going to give up our picks. Um, Who are you picking next week? <coughs> for the for the championship games. That's point. That's being played. We'll talk about that when we come back. Let's take this quick commercial break. We'll come back and uh, we get off. I'll give you my pick on Ohio State and uh, Michigan, Michigan State, State. Florida State, Florida. Duke. <laughs> I don't know how you make that face right hey, now. Florida State. Come on. Hey, but still, you ain't even gonna be a good game. Really? You ain't even gonna be a good game. Dude, they won 10 games. They won 10 games. We gotta give a shout out to Duke, Duke. 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 Yeah, the last time. Let's take a commercial <laughs> break. When we come back, we'll get off into our picks, how we did. All right, we'll man, give our no picks. Duke. DC will give his picks. Man, for they the, in the ACC championship, okay, man. Whatever. If they, <laughs> hey, if they, they going to get Florida, blew out. If they, if, if they upstate, I'm going with Duke. Upset. Let's go Duke. Now, let me tell you something else. Who, who else is up there in the ranking? This who? or another whatever. Who? And after this, we're really going to a commercial break. Who? Northern Illinois. Case closed. Let's get out of here. <laughs> commercial break. Get out of here. Red Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. <laughs> hey, I know you're on Facebook more than a little bit, right? Imagine if you had a cutting-edge app that allows you to see your top buddies, friends' rankings in your league table, or how about having the ability to see friends you haven't spoke to in a while that you need to reconnect with. Allow me to introduce you to Social Bond. This amazing app gives you the power to analyze your popularity with males and females on your friends list. Now, you know you can't go wrong with that, right? Our iPhone and Android-friendly app will provide for you the fun facts you desire to make the best out of your experience on Facebook. So what the heck are you waiting for? Get connected with Social Bonds today. Our app is available at your iTunes and Google Store right now. For more information, www.appshay.com. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> um, three one three eight six eight. Uh, anyway, eight eight. I don't know. Three one three eight. Six, you were bad today, man. Bad today. Yeah, man. When things don't run right, of course I get mad. It's okay, man. You, know? you wanna know why? What? Because it's always tomorrow. You can live for tomorrow, man. Okay, that's maybe, how, maybe that's tomorrow. That's <laughs> how I want to hear. Hey, hey, guess what? 
I messed up your commercial, but guess what? I'm living for the mall. Hey, could you send that check? <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. No. You can refund them one day. I don't do refunds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Mac and Bewick. Ain't no refunds. Aww. <laughs> hey, once you, <laughs> once you done bought it. <laughs> so Ain't I no refund. refund. Let me stop it. I do do refunds. Let me stop it before they be watching it. like, what? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get into these picks. This is how we did last week. I had to count it out for the free agent because he didn't believe there was 14 <laughs> games played. But he went 5, 8, and 1. DC, 7, 6, and 1. And yours truly, 6, 7, and 1. DC had the best week last week. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying like that? What are you saying like that? That's good. That's good. That's, that's, no, 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 that's, no, that's, good. that's good that DC had no, a I wasn't talking about him. I was looking at the total. Uh, you yeah, know, the it don't matter. Season. DC had a good week last week. Season? Free agent, 103 wins, 74 losses, one tie. He don't like that tie, but he <laughs> has no choice. <laughs> Y'all keep saying this tie. We did not win. That's a loss. It's a tie. All three of us got that it's loss. It's a tie. It's no losses. It's a tie. When the NFL Wait, did you? counted as a loss, I counted as a loss. <laughs> hey, did you? Then, Wait, hold on. It as a tie. But did you pick it as a tie? It don't matter. When I'm doing it do the matter. NFL, no, it don't. You didn't NFL, pick it as a tie. 99? <laughs> Is that 90? Oh, oh, he can't even uh, read, he can't read, read. He's all right. Yeah, 99 and 87 and 1 is DC, and I'm 105, 71 and 1. All right, let's get to the picks. DC started with you. DC doing his picks for week 13. And just to remind the free agent, we do have 16 games <laughs> played this week. Which actually like he can't, play like three he can't games. even count how many games he played. <laughs> three games was played this week. Who won that um, B-more? B-more won. B-more. Yeah. Baltimore won by yeah. two points. You yeah. might as well circle me yeah. for that one because you know I had to. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, we you got won you that one. <laughs> he was the only one that won that one. All right, so here we go. Here we go. We got mm -hmm. 16 games. Let's start with Thursday. Hey, DC went undefeated on Thursday. Yeah, well, DC won all his games on Thursdays. He won. He, he had Detroit, Dallas, and B-more. Me and the free agent, we went 2-1. and one. The Detroit, one we lost was all uh, the... Pittsburgh and, Dallas, yeah. and Pittsburgh. Yeah. Pittsburgh. Yeah. All right. Free, I mean, D.C. Here we go. Week 16. I mean, week 13. Man, you 16 fast games. Forward. Fast forward. That's no. work of <laughs> week. Huh? The Bears in Minnesota. Who you got? Bears. All righty. I'm New England. I'm Houston. New England. Tennessee, Indy. Indy. We're going to Indy. Let me see what this coward pick for that, cause he, he's cause he's out on luck, but <laughs> Tennessee upset, is his team. <laughs> upset, baby. Who did you say, Tennessee and Indy? Who you say? I said Indy. Indy, Jacksonville at the Browns. Jacksonville, Jacksonville. Oh, you taking Jacksonville? Yeah, Jacksonville. Over that same Cleveland team that beat Baltimore. Shut Tampa up. Bay over the Cardinals. <laughs> Cardinals. <laughs> Arizona over Philly. <laughs> Philly. I mean, I'm sorry about that. Tampa Bay over Carolina. I'm sorry. I mean, Carolina. Tampa, Carolina. I'm sorry. I said Cardinals. I'm sorry. Arizona at Philly. Philly. Miami at the Jets. This is D.C. making his picks. Week Jets. 13, he taking the Jets. Jets. St. Louis at the 49ers. 49ers. ATL at Buffalo. Once again, this ATL. is D.C. making his pick at the ATL. Since he at San Diego. <laughs> Sissy. You heard? <laughs> I hear you. The Denver at KC. Mm, this is going to be a good one. Denver. Baby, boy. Give me Denver. Oh, well, yeah. That's who I took. I don't took think y'all been looking at the injury report. Denver got a lot of different. Yeah, it matters. G-Men at, um, at Washington. Give me G-Men. Yeah, Washington is through. <laughs> New Orleans at Seattle. Seattle that's never a, lose. That's Monday home. night, right? Yeah, that's uh, Monday night. Hey, yeah, give me New Orleans. Oh, Ooh. I was racing Seattle. Oh, you took New Orleans. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Okay, now Thursday night, we got Texas at the Jaguars. Give me Texas. All righty, all right. Free agent. Um, he picked, he, like I said, we did the Thursday already. Uh, he picked New England. You forgot the Bears. the Bears. He picked the Bears, New England, Tennessee, the Be Brown, Carolina, Arizona, Miami, St. Louis, Buffalo. San Diego, KC, G Men, Seattle Thursday night. He got the Jaguars. I picked the Minnesota over the Bears. I picked New England, Indy, Cleveland, Carolina, Philly, Miami. Uh, I picked the 49ers, of course. We're back. 
Oh, I'm stronger than ever. Go Cats. Go Cats. Go Cats. Go Cats. You know what? Go ATL you know. at Buffalo. I lured him in with a false sense of security people. If y'all wonder what's going on. And, and hold on. He thought I was going to be a lion fan. He no, bought off into that. I didn't buy He's off into nothing. He's a sucker. Nothing. Sucker MCs no. anyway. <laughs> since, since I took Buffalo, San Diego, Denver, I took, oh, man, I'm going to change this one. Why not? Keep Washington. That's what you want. You know, I'm going to keep him. I'm going to keep him. you going to pick Washington over the G-Man? I'm going to keep him. I think RG3 is going to bounce back. Yeah. I'm yeah. thinking okay. Seattle all over. They never lose at home over New Orleans. Or New Orleans suck on the road. <laughs> uh, Texas at the Jaguars. I'm taking the Jaguars. Both of these teams suck, so who really cares? And we'll see how we done last week, of course. You already said it. Oh, let me ask you a question. Oh, whoa, whoa, I got a very important question on here for you fellas regarding, uh, I'm going to go and start with D.C. first. Let me start with D.C. I got a, a very important question. Who's on the hot seat here in Michigan? Dumars, Hope, or Schwartz? Who's on the hot seat? I'm going to say Dumars. Dumars, who you say for your agent? Uh, Jim Schwartz. That he's more on the hot seat than Dumars. Yeah, because every year Dumars he failed to put a team out there. Shorts he just he got to win this year. This is our year. If he don't win, it just kick him out. I fi I figure with Schwartz if he don't go to the second round, he's done. It ain't got nothing to do with the, the second round. I they gonna go to the playoffs. Granted, he got to win the division. And I mean they gonna win the division. He got you know, to. I was gonna pick yeah. Hope right, but he done. Uh, AD that came out. And yeah, said, said they not yeah, he not gonna fire. So I'm gonna take. I, that, that's who I was going to pick. So I got Dumars and Schwartz left. Let me see. Dumars. You better pick Dumars. The way Dumars, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't uh, actually. Hey, because at first I, I was going to pick Hope, but if you Dumars right there, AD, bought AD, him AD a, did come out and say they was not going to fire I'm Hope. I'm taking so. Schwartz. Dumars bought him another year by what he did in the offseason. But I don't think the Lions are actually going to make the playoffs. Why not? Why not? I just don't. I think next week they're going to go up to Philly and lose. <laughs> they got Baltimore coming at home. That's a loss. Then they got the Giants next. You know. So we gonna And then they got Minnesota last. We're just gonna lose all them games, huh? You might win the Minnesota game. Oh, okay. So we're gonna finish eight and eight. Yeah, that's what I had you at the beginning of the season, remember? Nine and seven, eight and eight, fifty fifty. Okay. Give me your last word, DC, before we get out of here. Go Baltimore. They going to the playoffs. DC, you say the same thing every week. Could you say something? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm, just, I'm like free agent. I got to stick with my you team. You know? Free agent. Free agent be like, go I mean, Lions, go Tigers, go, go Red Wings. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm with my team, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't do that. Okay, I got to do that every week. Yeah, what, what you got to say? <laughs> what you go got Lions, <laughs> go Lions, go Tigers, see? go Red Wings. <laughs> yeah. Go Tigers. Ain't no matter. We win the all. Off-season, baby! We gotta win every day. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> yes. Oh, you know what? You know, I do got something to say. I oh, hope yeah. everybody had a, a, a great Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. That's, that's that, what I hope. Oh, yeah, yeah. Everybody ate good. You know, I actually yeah, took dinner, but anyway, we'll talk about that next week. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for joining us. We're here every Sunday morning, 10 a.m., 88.1 WHPRFM. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I got a new one. What? Go St. Louis Rams. All right, we out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Detroit Sports Jersey. Until next week, same place, same time. Sundays at 10 a.m. on FM 88.1 WHPR. Power Talk Live Radio. With host Will, co-host the water cooler guru and the free agent. Live calling number 3 Live streaming at FM 881 WHPR.com. Past shows are at Detroit Sports Jersey. This is a test on the emergency alert system.